Hello, in this problem we're going to integrate the absolute value of sine x from 0 to 3 pi over 2. So in order to do this problem, we have to get rid of the absolute value of x. So recall that if you just have the absolute value of x, you can write this as a piecewise function. It's going to be x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's going to be minus x if x is less than 0. In this case, though, it's not x, it's the sine of x. So if we just replace this formula with sine x, we get the following. We get sine x is equal to this, and that's going to be true if sine x is greater than or equal to 0. And then here you would get minus sine x if minus sine x is less than 0. So this might seem intimidating, but it really isn't. All you have to do is... Well, a couple ways to do it. You can think about the unit circle or you can think about the graph of sine. I'm just going to think about the graph of sine. So here's the y-axis and here's the x-axis. So this is y and this is x. And so sine of zero is zero. So we'll start here. And that makes sense because we're starting at zero. And we're going all the way to three pi over two. So let's see, sine of pi over two is gonna be one. And then we come back down to pi, it's going to be 0. And then we come back down to 3 pi over 2. And this value here is negative 1. So we're basically looking um, to integrate from here to here. Okay, so now we can break up the integral using this picture. So we have 0 to 3 pi over 2. And we have the absolute value of sine x dx. So between 0 and pi, it's going to be positive, okay? So the formula says it's just sine x. So we go from 0 to pi, and that's just sine x with respect to x. Plus, and then we have to go from pi to 3 pi over 2. See, we're basically breaking it up at pi based off the picture. And here it's negative, right? So um, we're going to be using this formula here. So this will be minus sine x dx. I like these problems because you have to think a little bit about the graph. So on this interval here, sine is positive, so the absolute value of sine x is just sine x. On this interval here, sine is negative, so the absolute value of sine x is minus sine x. Now we integrate. When we integrate sine, you want to think backwards. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is going to be a negative cosine x. And we're going from zero to pi. And you can check your answer mental, mentally. If you take the derivative of cosine, you get negative sine, but there's already a negative here, so it's like a double negative, and so all is good. And then here, this one's just gonna be cosine, because the negative is already present, right? The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And we're going from pi to three pi over two. Okay, so now um, we plug in this number, subtract, plug in this number. So this is gonna be negative cosine of pi minus, and then the minus is from the formula, right? So you plug us in minus parentheses negative cosine of zero. And plus, plug in three pi over two, cosine three pi over two, and then minus, and then plug in the pi, cosine of pi. Very nice. And so now let's see what happens here. Um, cosine of pi is negative one. So it's negative, negative one, so it's one minus, and then cosine of zero is one, so it's minus negative one, plus cosine of three pi over two is zero, cosine of pi is negative one. So this is gonna be one plus one plus one, so it's three, and that's the answer. And let me just show you something really cool. So like right here, if you think about this, this here, this area is two. And this is not an area because it's negative, but you, if you were to flip it, the area here would be one. And two plus one is three. So it's kind of cool. Um, I've, I've done problems like this before, so I kind of already knew it's, it was going to be three just from memory, but um, it's good to verify. So nice problem. Whenever you have an absolute value, um, you just apply this definition and then draw a picture, and then you can get rid of it. Good luck.